Today I'm hanging with Canadian singer-songwriter Justin Nizuka. We're going to one of my favorite Lower East Side spots. Oh, so this is the cake shop. I just love this. This is one of my favorite places in the city. Have you always been singing? Yeah, pretty much always been always singing. Been. I cried a lot too when I was a kid. So oh. Yeah, I think that's... I used to yell a lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. My favorite vocalist, uh, Stevie Wonder, Jeff Buckley, uh, Marvin Gaye, Lauryn Hill. I think uh, you're almost a leader in a way. A big part of it for me at least is you know having a message. That's basically it. But I mean the most important thing for me at this point is making you know quality music. You know that's my goal is to just make music. Justin's background is as diverse as his influences. He's an American mother, a Japanese father, and is the sixth of seven children. His family moved to Canada when he was eight, and he learned to play the guitar from his Mexican classmates. And let's talk about the album. Let's talk about it. So it's, it's named Holly after your mother, which I think is beautiful. Tell me why you decided to name it Holly. Um, it was the first first name that came to my mind. Mm -hmm. It goes back to, you know, I was going to sign a deal with Universal mm -hmm. in Canada and, um, you know, I decided not to do that and to do an independent album, you know, so through that process, you know, um, my mom really helped me, you know, with, with funding the album, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, putting it together, which was right. a big deal, you know, for me at the time. You had all these major labels, you know, going after you and you decided to do the independent route. No, why did you why did you decide to, to put it out independently? Really, it was all based around my idea of building uh, building things slowly, you know, um, letting things develop naturally. You know, I think it's stupid to skip steps. You know? Yeah. A lot of people want to rush into it, you know, but uh, even when you rush into it, it still takes so long. Right. You know what I mean? It's a lot of work. So um, I just wanted to do it right. I would love to hear you play a song. Yeah. If you don't mind. So. Is that cool? Okay. That song was it's a pretty old song. It's one of my first songs, actually. And uh, it was written for uh, a girl that I was seeing at that time. Oh, my God. Okay. Young, and I was in a relationship that was, you know, I thought mm -hmm. was so serious. Of you know? course, so, yeah. yeah. I wrote that. Then. Does she know that's a, that song's about her? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, yeah, okay. So. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. that's an unbelievable song. Thank you. The love is all right. You don't have to look about the stars. No, 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 I know. But again, that tonight. Justin is definitely an old soul, and his level of talent in songwriting is beyond impressive. He was recently nominated for New Artist of the Year in Canada, and it's very easy to see why. Music, fusion, fashion. Steve Madden scene. 